Hey guys, it's Lisa, and I was getting ready to put on my jewelry, and I thought we might start at the end here with my jewelry. Happy Friday. These are the earrings I got from Express. If you didn't see that video, I will put it up here. I love these earrings, you guys. They are so impactful with not a lot of weight. You know, they're just not too big. I feel like they're like a big earring shrunk down baby size and I love them. So I'm gonna wear these today. And today I am giving the people what they ask for. You guys have been asking for more makeup and the loft. Several of you have requested that I do a loft try on haul. So today I'm going to show you what I chose. A lot of it was on sale and we'll see how it goes. This is a new bracelet from my friends Kelly and Christina at Mommy's Makeup and Moscato. And I was just thinking, am I going to be able to put this on by myself? I don't know if I am. Okay, John just put it on for me. It's on the next to the tightest one. But the secret with these bracelets is you get all of that, again, impact. <laughs> my whole mantra has been lately, extra but practical and that's what this is and this is my favorite one of course there are more of them with pearls and just mixed metals but i will put those down below and then i showed you the gold ring in my last video my beach travel video <laughs> that i will put up here today i thought i would wear the silver version this ring looks so high dollar to me like this is the kind of ring i think i saw this is going to sound funny because i have not watched reality tv shows in a long time. Definitely since I've moved here, I kind of went through a little life thing where I just wasn't going to put negative things in my head, but I used to watch Vanderpump Rules and Beverly Hills Housewives, and I remember Lisa Vanderpump having a ring like this that I was just crazy about. So congratulations to Kelly and Christina. I'm going to link their channel below, Mommy's Moscato and Makeup, and let's get on with the show here because I have the most random things. Let's just start off with what's in front of me. If you've been here with me, I have had these before. One of my subscribers and friends sent me these in a gift package one time and I had them forever and I loved it. But these fell prey to the move when I went crazy and just threw out almost all of my makeup. I didn't throw it out. I gave most of it away. But I missed these, especially in the summer because in the summer, I like a glowy, you know, sparkly eye. I like something easy and these are just the best colors and there's several more available like if these aren't your colors but it's from the company Bella Pierre Cosmetics they're called the nine stack and you choose what colors you want so this one is Bella and I cannot remember what the name of this one is but of course I will list them both down below because I will still have my purchase record on Amazon so good you guys these are so good like if you liked my eyeshadow in my beach travel video it was this one and what they do is each one does like this and then what I do is just use what's on the top. They're so pretty. They are just as pretty as Bare Minerals. And see, there's usually a lot on the top, enough to do your eye. Like that color, I think this was my favorite color, but I wholeheartedly recommend these. And look, this has that really pretty blue, and I've used that color. Oh, so pretty and I've definitely used two colors because a lot of times with mineral makeup I think the beauty of it is it's one and done because just of the nature of the mineral makeup it will look different in different areas like when it hits your brow bone etc but I have used two and I love it okay and another I've got so much good makeup here you guys if you love makeup you're in for a treat because I have so many good things this is the new formula of the Lancome tint Idol Ultra Wear. I got 335W and 330N. So as you would think, 335W is my warm shade and 330N is going to be my neutral shade. So I have worn these now for, I think my package that I was expecting from Sephora came in right after I did last week's video. So I've been wearing these for a while. I've worn them to the beach. I've worn them to the pool. I've worn them for videos and I love it. I love it. It's right up there with Estee Lauder Double Wear. What I've been super impressed with is when I wear it in the sun, like to the pool or the beach, when I come home, my makeup is intact. 
It is very long lasting. The coverage is beautiful. I've worn it with a sponge. I've used a brush and they're just beautiful. So if you were a lover of this foundation, I might hurt some feelings here because I know there's a lot of people that loved this and don't care for the new formula, but I think this is better. I think this is a better formula. I think it's a little bit lighter. I just really, really like this. Okay, it's bronze goddess time, my favorite time of year. So I ordered the new bronze goddess scent. It is bronze goddess Lumiere. Let bronze goddess take you away, mind, body, and soul. Embrace the warmth of tropical paradise with the sensual fragrance, relaxing. The freshness of a distant lush island comes alive with the scent of frangipani, which I love. Slightly fruity and rosy presence paints picture of sunrise landscape. Feminine sensuality. I'm trying to cut this short here. Jasmine Sambach and the brightness of lemon leaves and Italian mandarin notes. The fresh scent of coconut milk further evokes the essence of the original bronze goddess fragrance. Notes of dreamy tuberose and earthy crystal moss deepen the fragrance's base while a warm note of amber makes it all come alive. Okay, this is what I have to say. The original bronze goddess, the eau fresh scent is the best. It's the original. It's the OG. It will always reign number one. And I have bought every one of them. And even when I read these notes, it didn't sound like something I would care for, but I wanted it for my collection. The bottle itself is beautiful. And let me... It is good. It's just not bronze goddessy. You know what I mean? It is fresh with a little... Okay, now I'm getting a little bit more bronze goddess in there, but you know how I always bring up Dolce & Gabbana light blue because that is a best seller. There are a lot of people that like light blue. If you like light blue, you're gonna like this. If you like anything, it's just a light, summery scent. I do smell the frangipani and a little bit of the tuberose, which tuberose is one of my favorite. I do smell a little bit of the jasmine. It is a fresh, floral, a little bit sexy scent, but it's not bronze goddess. So does that make any sense? It is beautiful. I don't regret it. I'm not returning it, but I don't want you to think it's going to be like the OG bronze goddess that we know and love. Okay, then I got the bronze goddess Lumiere or Lumiere palette because here again, I think I have bought every bronze goddess palette ever. I don't even know. It's kind of like a collection. So this is the one I purchased this year and I have to say it's one of the best ones. You know, every year they'll put like a color in there, a little wild card. Most of the time it's going to be like a turquoise color, but this year they chose this purpley color, which I think is really pretty. I used it today. It was a hard decision whether to use my, oh, I've got some more eyeshadow palettes to even show you, but so I used this because I wanted to show you. Is it like the greatest eyeshadow palette I've ever used? Monumental, so unique? No, but it's very pretty. It's very user friendly and it's bronze goddess. So I'll let you decide from there. It says for eyes and cheeks, but I don't recommend using. First of all, how would you get your brush in there? I don't like when they do this. That just isn't a good one for cheeks. So I would not say it's a whole face palette. I would definitely say it's an eye palette. Okay, and one thing I will say is that Estee Lauder, the bronze goddess Lumiere, it does last well. I think it might last longer than the Eau Fresh scent, but that's still my favorite. Then then there is an intense, I'm not sure if they still sell that, but I'll link everything down below. Okay, this, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. This is the new Pure Color Lipstick in the Cream Formula in number 840 Showstopper. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's not for everyone. If you don't like really light lipsticks, you're not gonna like it, but does anybody remember Estee Lauder Vanilla something. I can't remember the name of it now, but it was just like everyone loved that lipstick. That's what it reminds me of. It is beautiful. I have it on today. And what I did today is instead of just using my lip liner as lip liner, I did fill in a little bit with Lancome Ideal. And I put this over it just because I have to think about being on camera and you know how it comes off. But what I've been doing is wearing it with all different types of lip liners. My Paradise Lip Liner, Lancome Ideal. I think I've even done it with Lolita from KVD. It's such a true vanilla 
type color, it really does just go with almost any lip liner. So I think all of us have a go-to lip liner. I think this will go with it. And this will also be a good one to put in the center of another color that's a little bit boring and safe and you want just a little something something in the middle. It is just beautiful. And that formula, it's definitely better than those Bobbi Brown, even though I do still like those. It's not as dry as the Anastasia. It is just a good one. This to me is a must have. And then I will say when you order from Estee Lauder, they give you, I think I got to pick six samples of like their fragrances and stuff like that. So that's just a little incentive that you might want to order from them. I mentioned these on my beach getaway video. I won't spend too long on it, but I just wanna tell you that, and this is not sponsored. I'm just, I'm saying this for you. She's having a 25% off friends and family, and it includes the kits, because typically it doesn't include the kits. So if you have been wanting to try the hair products, which are my favorite still to this day, or like the Discovery Kit, they're 25% off. Okay, now let's get down to this. I finally bit the bullet and bought this L'Oreal Gel Liner in Espresso. This is the best brown gel liner you will ever try. And I have tried so many, you guys. I think I have tried them all. And I always love this the most. And they've got it on Amazon. I think you still have to pay like 20 bucks for it. But you know, L'Oreal has gotten up there anyway. I wouldn't doubt if it were 12 or 14 even in the store. But in the store, you can only get black now. It's hard to find the espresso. So I'm not sure if it is being phased out. And that's why it's only available on on Amazon, but I will link it below probably right after I order a backup and you need to try it. Actually, it's what I've got on today. It is a deep, dark brown that's still brown and opaque. So if you're like me and you like an opaque, you know, usually for a wing liner or something, this is the best. Something else I ordered that I have had before and I loved and I'm not sure why I got rid of it, but that is the Rosewood Bronzer from Anastasia. This is so beautiful. I forgot how much I loved this. Tammy with Tammy's Ageless Beauty is the first person who told me about this. And when you read the description, I believe it describes it as a golden warm bronzer or something, but it is, but I think the reason I love it and the reason it's called Rosewood is it's a cool tone. It's not that it really has a rosy tone, but it's not as warm as most bronzers. As a matter of fact, I don't even like to use this alone. What I do, like today, I used my Tarte Park Avenue Princess, and then I go over it with this just a little bit, and it is just beautiful. I have not even tried this as an eyeshadow, but that is going to be fabulous. So this is, I would say a must have or a must try is the Rosewood Bronzer from Anastasia. And then my friend Tracy said that this was her all time favorite blush. It is the Hourglass Ambient Blush in Incandescent Electra. This is also beautiful. It is right up my alley. And let me tell you how she described it. She said it's the only blush that she can put on and it gives her a beautiful glow. I have it on today. And then you can still see your skin through it. It's just like a veil of color. And that makes sense because the Incandescent part is probably not like highlighter but you know they have those glowy powders and then the coral part is the Electra <laughs> so love it love it and like I said I got this last week or last weekend and have been using it every day so this has been my blush in the past I would say three or four videos and I just love it the next thing I got is from Kylie she sent me her matte liquid eyeshadows this is right up my alley the colors look beautiful and I have not gotten a chance to use these because I've been so enamored with my bronze goddess palette and my new I got another good palette I'll get ready to show you and my you know mineral stacks but I'm going to use these because the colors look perfect and I get so upset when people make good liquid shadows and then they make them in the craziest colors so I will be trying these and then I will get back with you okay look at this PR box I got from Sigma. Thank you, Sigma. 
I have loved you for a long time now. Sigma is one of those brands that has just been here with me on YouTube from the beginning and they contacted me and wanted to just update my collection and send me some new goodies. So they sent me this eyeshadow palette. It's the Sigma New Mod Eyeshadow Palette with Dual Ended Brush. You guys, this eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. Okay, this is what I had on in my... <laughs> all of my videos. This is what I had on in my exercise video. It was the first day I used it. I used this color in the crease. I used a little bit of this color, a little bit of this color. When I use makeup, I'm thinking about, you know, what to tell you guys. This brush was amazing. Uh, you could just use this brush for everything. I loved it. And it doesn't have a lot of dust up. That's like a big deal with me. I don't know why I have a hang up with fallout. It is just gorgeous. So good job on this. And I want to use this color, this color, and this color and this color, they kind of give me those Scott Barnes J-Lo look type vibes, like where I do a deeper crease and I really work it in. So loving this. And then they sent me lots of their brushes. The one I have used a lot has been this one, which is the winged liner brush, the E06. I did my eyeliner today and I've done it all week with that brush. They actually sent me their gel liner, the black one and lots of cream blushes, matte bronzers. So I will be using these things and then when I find something that I really like or is impressive, I will let you know. So thank you so much to Sigma for including me and sending me this generous box of goodies. Okay, speaking of generous, I got the new Signature Revival collection, our newest collection featuring angular modern takes on our core signature styles from Dean Davidson. This collection is so beautiful. I got this little dainty necklace with the moonstone in it. Beautiful, perfect for every day. And then this ring. It is so cool, you guys. When I took it out of the box, I was like, I just love it. It is gorgeous. I mean, between all my new rings, it's solid on the back, but look how it looks almost like three rings. And I love the shape of it. Beautiful. So, all of these things are great Mother's Day gifts. I don't know if you will be able to order in time. Even if you're looking for something for yourself, these will be great. And you know, I have a code with Dean Davidson. It's Lisa D125 for 25% off of his website. So thank you, Dean, for sending these to me. And I really think this is the star here. Okay, you guys, some lipsticks. Remember when I showed you the Fit Glow lipstick? It was a few videos back. This is kind of like, I guess they would describe it in between like a chapstick and a lipstick. It's the Cloud Collagen Lipstick Balm. So this is the color Happy, and this color is Glad. And they're perfect for me for the pool or the Beach because when I put them on, they stay. And then I can layer my sunscreen lip or my sunscreen stick over it and it still stays. But both colors are like the perfect summer, wear with your bathing suit, wear with a black dress, wear with a colorful dress colors. It's like they're vibrant, but they're not obnoxious. I love them. And I say this in the best way because you can see they're not matte, but they're like a little teeny bit dry. So they really work into your lips. They're not slicky. They don't feel like they're moving all around. These are really good and they're made of natural products. But what's good about these is they're made of natural good for you ingredients with collagen. I just love the shades and I love how they stay and I love how they just kind of really work into your lips. Okay, I have two more fragrances, three more fragrances to tell you about. The first one is this one from Sol de Janeiro. It is their new fragrance, the Rio Radiance. I wore this yesterday. Actually, I wore two of them. I wore this one on this arm and the next one I'm about to show you on this arm. It's a body spray. It is so good. It's not like any of the other ones. Okay, it says a solar scent that combines clean white floral, creamy coconut milk, and the warmth of the sun on the sand. It's not real heavy, but I did, I could still smell it on my skin about two hours later. So it is good, I love this. Now this is one, you know I love fragrances that you can kind of go 
all over. That's how this is. I love it. I love it. It's a good one. It's worth it. I think it's one of the best ones that I've tried. Now, this one is a wild card. This is the Juliet Has a Gun Lust for Sun. It comes in the pretty standard Juliet Has a Gun bottle, but wow. This is the weirdest. Like, this fragrance just had me shook in a weird way. I cannot figure out what it smells like. It is like First of all, it must be for men and women because it definitely had a strong, I think it was much more of a boyfriend, like a man's scent. Oh my gosh, you guys. I gotta smell it just to remember. It smells like cleaning supplies mixed with a man's aftershave mixed with a dash of deodorant. Like Brooke smelled it on my arm and liked it but I think it's because it smells like a man. It smells like a man's aftershave, but it also has something I must use to clean or something in it, but it is, I do not recommend it. I all the way would get vanilla vibes. That is a good one. This one will probably be going back. It is weird. It is one of the weirdest fragrances I have probably ever smelled. And I have smelled some weird fragrances because when you get into niche fragrances, they are weird but you kind of like them. Like there are some that, you know, are that dirty smell or just really weird smells that I really actually like, but this one is, it is not good in my opinion. And then somehow I have gotten on the PR list for Hammett and they sent me the most beautiful package of goodies. We hope you and your Hammett have a very long, happy life together. After all, it was made for you. They sent me this fragrance, which is the Ellis Brooklyn rose. It smells like, well, of course my nose is getting messed up now. It smells like roses. Like Brooke and I smelled this when we opened it. It smells like real roses. I'm getting it now. Not bathroom roses. You know what I mean? You know how some rose scents can smell like bath soap or your grandma's bathroom? That's what it reminds me of. This isn't like that. It is fresh. It is beautiful. It is like you're standing in a rose garden. I probably would have never purchased this and I love it. I love it. It is so pretty. It is just one of those scents that is just gorgeous. And then this is a really cool little bag that they sent and then lots of nice skincare and lots of stuff for glass skin from Peach and Lily, so thank you to them for that PR package. And then now I'm going to stand up. I'm going to show you my outfit of the day and what I chose from The Loft. The Loft is one of those places I have gone. It's seasonal for me. Some summers, I would love The Loft. You guys remember, I used to wear dresses from The Loft all the time. And then they got where they were a little bit too conservative for me. And then this year, I parked in front of there one day, I looked up and there was this beautiful two-piece outfit in the window and I had it on my mind. So I went back and did a little bit of shopping there. So I'll be right back with what I got. Okay, I'm just gonna have to hold this microphone so you can hear all the way back here. But this outfit, I'm keeping this. I love it. This is one of my favorite things that I got. I love a set. I love the linen look. I love blazers. It's a win-win all the way around. And then I'm pairing it with my wedges that I showed you guys last week, the Steve Madden wedges. These are the most comfortable wedges ever. They come in lots of different colors. And then I want to show you what I've done if you're like me and you're not the most comfortable with wearing shorts. I got the six and I just kind of pull them down. That way they're just you know, a little bit baggier. I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't have the blazer on with it, but that makes the shorts, you know, a little bit longer and, you know, a little bit more my style, but they are elastic and they do, you know, they would look better if they were up here, but they're shorter. So it just depends on what you're comfortable with, but oh my goodness, you guys, this is such a good outfit. Okay, it's good for every day. It's good for, you know, just going out on the weekends. It's good for going out with your husband on the weekends. It's just good for every day. It's comfortable, it's cute, it's put together, it's an instant outfit, it's an easy style statement. But if you have like a wedding coming up, this is good for like a bridal shower or something like that. This is also good for any vacations you may be taking. I have tried it on with tennis shoes. It looks great. It looks good with so many different things. Your flip-flops. Can you tell I love it? Okay, so there goes this one. The next thing I got and love is this 
slip skirt. It is beautiful. Not only is the color beautiful, but the fabric. It's a little bit of a heavier weight, so it has good flow. It has the elastic waist. It is just beautiful. I paired it with one of my favorite sweatshirts from Anthropology, or you could put it with a tank top. You could put it with one of those like half cut off white shirts, you know, the cropped button ups, or even the ones that tie or tie your button up. This is just a beautiful, beautiful slip skirt. I just want you guys to see the weight of it. This is beautiful. I think I'm going to keep this one too. Okay, this is for my sweet and sassy girls because look at how sweet this dress is. It is just like a little precious little girl, a sweet lady, a sweet pretty girl, and then you get a little bit of sassiness in the back. It has this opening back here. I just love it. And the, where this opening is, it's not provocative at all, but it gives you a little interest. It was good to see that it even shows with long hair. It is just so pretty. It's kind of like that poplin look, even though it isn't. It's a cotton dress, but I love the colors. I love the simplicity of it. You could be the most conservative person and wear this, and then it just has that little bit of interest in the back. I really really love this. It is beautiful. It would be good for so many different things. Okay, this little sweater. This, at first glance, looks like nothing special, but what makes it special is the feeling of it. It is just really, really soft and thin, and I think when I looked at it, I could tell that it was going to be one of those good sweaters that would be good for throwing over your neck, tying around your waist, wearing it over something, or just you can wear it alone, maybe with with a little cami, or this is one of those good sweaters to just take in a restaurant and have. When we used to go out to eat all the time, I would keep either an overshirt or a sweater or something in the car just to take in with me. And I remember, Brooke, do you need anything? It's going to be cold in there. No, no. And then I would have to give her mine, but that's just... <laughs> That's what moms do, but this is just a perfect little summer sweater. And I think cardigans are just a great, versatile, powerful piece to have. Okay, this dress, you guys, this is every woman wrapped up into one. It's very Diane von Furstenberg, very Michael Kors, just that look, but with beachy vibes. Look, it's got the pineapple on it. Very, very conservative, yet sexy because it has like the slits on the side and it's made from let's I hope you can see like the actual pattern in the fabric it has that linen look it is just gorgeous I think I'm probably going to end up keeping this one too just tell me what you think when you see the footage tell me what you think about it on me I loved it with the pink shoes because I just felt like it just went. It just looked good. I had a feeling when I put this on that it needed a pop of color, but it would also look good with your flip-flops. I wouldn't put it with pumps. I would put it with a wedge, your flip-flops, some type of sandal, or just a pop of color. And then this little dress is very pretty on. I do like the print. It reminds me of when I was sewing. I was really crazy about twall, just different prints like this, like the flowers. Like I would have loved to have made a bag out of this dress or window treatments for someone's breakfast nook, but I felt like it was a little too juvenile looking for me. I didn't feel like it flattered my vibe or my figure, and I had a hard time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it on the website. I couldn't find it, but I will look again, but like I said, I went shopping in the store. This is the piece I saw in the window. It has a skirt that goes with it. I thought I purchased it, but when I got it, home. Brooke steamed everything for me. I went to try this on and there was no skirt. So evidently they forgot to put the skirt in there and we live outside of town. I'm one of those people that says go to town. <laughs> We live outside of the city, so I don't go, you know, where the shopping places are every day. So I haven't been back yet, but I just wanted to show it to you. It's very pretty. You guys know I love lemons, and this has the oranges on there. And here is the back. So if you like this print, I think you will love this. And I was very disappointed that I didn't have the skirt to go with it, but I think you get the idea. And like I said, this year they have had some really good stuff in there. I also did Ann Taylor. So let me know down below if you want to see what I purchased 
purchase from Ann Taylor. Okay, you guys, that is it. So thank you so much for being here. My nail polish today is one coat of Funny Bunny. One coat to me is the best. It makes it where it's still see-through. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.